Have you wondered why the sea is salty? Did you know that if you drained all the water from the oceans and left just the salt, that the Earth's surface would be covered with a 152 metre layer of salt? That's the height of a 40 storey building. The saltiest ocean is the Atlantic, but the saltiest sea is the Dead Sea. Its waters are about 34% salt. But typically seawater is not that salty. It is about 35 grams of salt in every kilogram of seawater. But where does all this salt come from? There are multiple sources, but the primary source is from rock. When rain falls, it's slightly acidic as it contains carbonic acid from the atmosphere. When it contacts the rock, it unlocks salt particles in the rock. And as the water drains into rivers and oceans, it carries the salt with it. Rivers transport around 4 billion tonnes of salt to the ocean every year. That's equivalent to the weight of 2 billion elephants every year. Other sources include deep ocean hydrothermal vents and subsea volcanoes. Salty water bubbles up through cracks in the ocean floor. This super salty brine water gets trapped at the bottom of the ocean because the water is four times saltier than the seawater above. It's so dense that even a submarine would float on the surface of the briny pool. Salinity in the ocean varies across the globe. Here the lighter areas are areas of higher salinity. As you can see, the tropics are much lighter. In the subtropics, there's high evaporation rates. and salt is left behind in the ocean as huge amounts of water are drawn up from the Earth's surface. But in the tropics, which also has high evaporation rates, the sea is less salty. This is because of the high levels of rain dilute the salt levels in the ocean. The Atlantic is salty, but the Pacific is not. This is because the Pacific has lots of rain. The darker colours indicate less salty waters at the poles. This is because of the huge amount of fresh water that melts from the icebergs and the sea ice. But salinity also varies within the same ocean by depth. Oceans are stratified into layers like a rainbow cake and some of these layers are saltier than others. Generally the deeper you go the saltier it gets. So does it really matter all these differences in salinity? Well yes. On the ocean surface currents are driven by winds or tides. Within the oceans huge sluggish currents work their way around our major ocean bodies. The thermohaline circulation is a worldwide circulation system that acts like a conveyor belt, moving water through four of the five global oceans. It's driven by the differences in density in seawater. There are two factors that control this conveyor belt, differences in temperature, but also differences in salinity. So where salt has a negative effect on our circulation, it clogs our arteries, in the ocean salt is critical. Differences in salinity, along with temperature, are the important drivers of our deep ocean currents.